Jenga, you agree to go sailing with me on a tiny boat? Deal? Good deal. Welcome back to Adventures in Reach. Today, my pup Jenga and I are going to be doing our first sunfish sailboat camping trip together. Uh, we're just going to do a quick overnight today and see how it works to have a dog in the boat. All of the videos from the uh, Isle Royale trip that I just did, I sailed 150 miles around Isle Royale in a week um, on the biggest lake in the world. And don't forget to check those out after you watch this. Thanks for joining. All right, Jenga, come in. Go through. Jenga and I are cruising along slowly. Uh, this is supposed to be a nice calm trip so that she can get used to the boat and can just kind of see how things fit. And it seems to be going okay. She looks pretty comfortable to me. We don't have much wind. It's only about five miles an hour and that's okay. This marine decking sure does make a difference. And this way she has a little grip on it and has a more comfortable place to lay. The other thing I did is that I brought this little piece of foam. It's just a piece of a ridge rest pad. So the pad just gives her a little bit of um, elevation off of any water that might be in the cockpit, as well as just a little bit of uh, warmth off of the water. I plugged the the baler just in case it leaked at all and tried to keep my feet pretty dry getting in. This isn't as cold as Lake Superior for my last trip but uh, the water it still feels like it's probably in the 50s and so pretty chilly to lay on for very long. If you haven't checked out my channel like there's a there's a whole sunfish series so you may want to check out that playlist. Uh, there's a lot of good tips in there. Feel free to comment with what cool activity you have done with your dog. You know, it might help give some others of us some ideas or just uh, give us a chuckle or an oh my goodness. So um, we'd love to hear that. What cool activities have you done with your dog? Well, the wind seems to have kind of been blocked by this island, which is to be expected. Pad on over to camp. So the sun is setting behind me and, you know, I just want to remind you that you can do an overnight trip in 24 hours. I mean, I've only been out here for maybe an hour and already just the pace of life seems to slow down, you know, and uh, it's just all I've got to do is get to camp and hang out with my dog and and watch the sunset and it's I mean there's more to think about because you gotta you know kind of consider the wind and navigating and all that but if you get up the next morning you're already outside you're already feeling a little calmer I think I see the campsite there nobody's at it so that's a success and I'll, I'll just get there in a couple minutes no 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 stay 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 okay Jing okay good girl it looks like a pretty sweet spot. I haven't seen the tent site yet, but we're here. We've got a little bit of light. I'm just going to hurry to uh, get things set up and uh, get a fire going. Now the potato I brought had a big hole in it. <laughs> it was kind of rotted. But I had a package of frozen asparagus that I brought because I'm only out here for 24 hours, which is kind of the beauty of that. Cut up some onion, and I'm going to kind of seal this up and heat it up in the fire. Ugh. 
I hope the camera picks this up. We can hear the wolves howling. She's pretty alert. Good morning. <laughs> Jenga stayed cuddled here for most of the night. She was in a husky ball for a little while and then came back for some more warmth. <laughs> I guess she's camera shy this morning. Looks like a pretty day. Water bolt is frozen. <laughs> Jenga, there's still corona in the world, so we gotta get ready to go back home. Good girl. <laughs> Next time we'll go on a longer sail. Deal? <laughs>